known to her fans as the Tiny Queen. Let's enjoy this beautifully elegant skater. Opening triple loops. She needed a combination in the second triple jump. Triple loop, single toe loop. Just so stunning. I don't think there is a more refined skater, potentially even on the planet. It's just a tragedy that the jumping elements were so unsuccessful today. I feel like I, I'm grateful to the Japanese Skating Federation for sending Satoko technically it's probably fair to say that she's falling behind some of her competitors. But what she does bring is just beyond beautiful. Here's that opening triple loops. And that paved the way for mistakes later on as well. And the coach knows the impact of that on her score. I would say best layback in the competition. Um, step sequence, probably the best in the competition. But even in the component scores, here was that loop. She landed in the back inside edge. So you could only scramble on a sort of a single toe loop. But in the component scores, when there are serious errors, the judges cannot go above 8.75. And so to me, in terms of the skating skills and in terms of the performance, she's definitely worthy of being in the nines out of the tens. But those grave mistakes prevent the judges from helping her there either. But the 
there's no doubt about it, she is a very, very special skater. That absolute respect to her choreographer, Laurie Nickel, as well. They create art, not just skating choreography. So I don't think it'll be comfortable viewing the score that she's going to get.